Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is, this game hasn't released yet. Wait until the official release. So if you're receiving this error on PC, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to end EA services in task manager and then restart EA apps. So make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager. Now, if you see EA app over here, just make a right click on EA app and then click on end task and then find if you find any other EA services running. So if you find anything which says EA related to EA app, you can end the task and then you can launch the EA app once again. And then you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to change the date of your computer to tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to clock and region. Now click on date and time. Now over here, go to date and time tab and then click on change date and time. Now today's date is 20, 20th. So you can select date for 21st, maybe 22, maybe 23. Select the day and then click on OK. And then again click on OK. Now, once the date is changed over here, now you can launch the game. Now you can launch the game and you should not receive the error. Now, once if you're not receiving the error message, once the game is up and running, set the correct date. Now, once the game is running, if you want to change the date, you can go to control panel once again and you can just change the date and set the right date. So today is 20th, you can set the right date if the game is up and running. Now, if you set the correct date and you are facing the same problem, in that case, you can keep the wrong date till the time you are playing the game. And once you are done playing the game, you can set the correct date. Now, the next step is to create a new Windows admin account. Now, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So open windows settings and then go to accounts and then scroll down go to other users and then click on add account and then over here on this page click on i don't have this person's sign in information then click on add a user without a without a Microsoft account and you can create a username whatever you want. This is just an example. And then if you want, you can create a password. Answer the security questions. This is just an example. You can select your security question and answer. Click on next. And once it is created, now click on this drop down and then click on change account type and then from standard set it to administrator and then click on OK. Now you can log into this account. So you can just lock the computer and then you can select the uh, select the new user account and then log in. Now once you're logged in, now once you're logged into this account, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run EA app as an administrator. Now, first of all, close EA app and then type in EA in Windows search box, make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then check. Still not working, perform EA app recovery in EA app. So go to EA app on the on EA app, you will see three horizontal lines on the top left. So click on this three horizontal line and then go to help and then click on app recovery. And then you will see an option which says clear cache. So click on clear cache and this will restart EA app and then you can check. If that does not work, you can type in EA app in Windows search box, make a right click on EA app and then click on open file location. And then you will over here also you will find EA app recovery 
just make a right click on app recovery and then click on make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow again if you see clear cache click on it and then it will again restart the ea app and then you can check if that does not work you can run this ea app updater so just make a right click on ea app updater and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and in my case the app is already up to date so you can run this if there is any update let the update complete and then you can launch the ea app next step is to repair ea app now to repair ea app you can just type in control panel in windows search box and then open control panel go to uninstall a program select ea app in the list find ea app make a right click on ea app then click on uninstall click on yes and then you will see close the ea app first and then click on retry and then over here you will see the repair option so click on repair you can also perform a repair from ea website you can try that if that does not work you can even open go to ea website and then click on download the ea app windows and then run this exe file and then here you will see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow and let the repair complete once the repair is complete you need to restart your pc if it's telling you to restart your computer just restart your computer and then you can launch ea app and then check now the next step is to verify or repair the game files in ea app this is not for steam or Epic Games Launcher. Verify the game. Repair the game files in EA app. So go to EA app and then click on Manage over here. And then over here you will see the repair option. In my case, it is linked to Steam, so I don't see the repair option. So you, when you click on Manage, you will see the repair option. After the repair, you can launch the game. Next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. So this PC, C drive, program files, EA games, EA sports, and then make a double click and launch the game from here. If that does not work, you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Now, the next step is to uninstall EA app using Revo uninstaller, and then you can reinstall EA app. So you can go to browser and then you can search for Revo uninstaller in Google search go to free download download it for free now click on free download and then you can run the exe file and install Revo uninstaller in my case I think it is already in installed so once installed you can open Revo uninstaller and then you can find EA app in the list Now, once you find EA app, make a right click on EA app and then click on uninstall, continue. Let me close the EA app first. Now click on uninstall. Now once uninstall, you can close this and then you can over here you can select moderate or advanced. I will select advanced and then click on a scan. And then click on select all and then click on delete. Click on yes. Again select all and then click on delete. Yes. And then restart you can build. Now after the system restart, you can go to EA website once again and then you can download the EA app from EA website and then run this exe file. Let's go.
Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Now, once the app is installed, now you can launch the app, log into the app, and then you can launch the game from the app, and then you can check. You should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.